Howdy everyone, my name is Alan. Welcome to my YouTube channel, where I talk about my experience in building games with Rust. One of the things that we usually use is a web server. Recently, I have just pushed my Docker image for HTTP server to the Docker hub. The image size is very small, around 1 MB after compression. Smaller than those built with Alpine Docker image. So I think it is a good idea to do a series of videos about it. Part 1 is to do a demo. In part 2, I will talk about the source code and the process. So stay tuned to my channel. Alright, now let's get to the demo. First, I want to go through the Docker setup requirement with you. You will first need Docker desktop minimum version of 4.15. Click Settings and navigate to Features in Development. You will need to enable the beta mode, which is to enable, use contained for pulling, and storing images. Docker is very excited to bring to you, some great new features like lazy pulling images. Faster container startup performance and the ability to run WASM containers. You may be asked to enable virtualization in the BIOS. Alright, let's docker pull rustropy small HTTP server. Then enter this command. There are two environment variables. First is port. Port refers to listening port of the web server. The second is director, which refers to the static directory you want to serve. Remember to also mount the volume and publish the port. Once OK, let's go to localhost 3030. Yap. The page loads. It is pretty easy to use. You can change the static directory you want to serve very quickly. Let's compare it with a page httpd project docker image. It seems like you need to copy the directory and build the docker image each time you have any changes to the static directory. My compressed docker image size is slightly over 1 MB. A page httpd's compressed docker image size is more than 50 MB. Clearly, mine is much smaller. Quick pause. Check out my blog post at rustropy.dev where I document my ideas about programming in Rust and WebAssembly. I have minted NFT in Codada.sys NFT market for the WASM file I used to build the Docker image. I will appreciate if you could buy my NFT to support my cause. Your support will encourage me to write more open source projects. There is IPFS QR code at the bottom left corner. You will see the artifacts I used to create my program. Please also click the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Alright, now back to the small HTTP server. Alright, now back to the demo. If we compare its performance, it may not necessarily be as serve as many requests per second as the other web servers. Currently it does not support SSL. But it is indeed much smaller, boots up much quicker and easier to manage. But it is good enough for simple usage. Let's look at running the WASM file from WASM Edge directly without using Docker. You can find the WASM file in the IPFS QR code embedded inside my NFT. I believe more and more developers like me will embed their work in IPFS and put it up as a NFT in a NFT marketplace. Once again, I will appreciate greatly if you could buy my NFT to support my cause. Your support will encourage me to write more open source projects. All right, let's try to download this and run it with Wasm Edge. See, it is very fast. All right, that's all for this video. See you in part two where I will be explaining with the source code how I did it. Bye.